Hey everybody, Oliver Joyce, once again from Whiskey Barrel Studios, how you doing? Swords and Sandals Crusader Redux goes live on October 9th, so we've got about 10 days left until launch, and that is a an exciting feeling, a nervous feeling, uh, you know, there's a whole bunch of you know emotions going through my head as I race towards the finish line. Good news is, the game is just about complete. I've um, got my bug list down to just a few, which I'm just ironing out right now, and just finishing off the last of the campaign missions and balancing them. But one thing I wanted to talk to you today was about was a certain new feature that I'd hoped to get in the game before launch. And I wasn't sure if I'd be able to, but I managed to squeeze in a bit of time over the last week. And now I'm going to show you wizards. Wizards are in Swords and Sandals Crusader Redux. This is a feature that I um, remember was in Defender of the Crown, which was an old, old game from about 1986, where you could summon Robin Hood's aid uh, in battle. And of course, Defender of the Crown uh, inspired Sword and Sound's Crusader, and it's something I wanted to put in the original Crusader, um, but never was able to. So I'm really happy to have it in um, Redux version. So let's jump into a video. I'm going to show you um, how you can... Um, commune with these wizards and also how they can aid you in battle. So let's jump in now. So here we are in Chapter 1, Mission 3, which is actually a new mission for the Redux version, and it's called An Audience with Bargle. And the first thing I wanted to show you in today's video is, see here, we start with three provinces. And that's because of a suggestion from a good friend of mine, Tom Gatinoff, who was playing the beta, and he said to me, uh, Ollie, Every time I start a new mission, why do I always start off with just one province when you know I conquered all those other ones in the previous mission? And of course, um, from a, a gameplay point of view, I can't just start each new mission with you having you know control of most of the realm. You got to kind of suspend your disbelief a little bit from a narrative perspective um, and assume that maybe um, in between missions, you know, they have lost influence of that province or whatever. But I still wanted to show. The progress of you through a campaign and because every uh, chapter has six missions what I'm doing now is with each new mission you'll gain one extra province to start with so mission three we start with Shackleford Fatal and Falsewood and they're always predetermined and you also see this is correct for your enemies too so Bors the Mighty starts with Warmhaven, Gunteria and Saul's Gateway so three provinces for me three for him and, yeah, and mission four I'll start with four up to, of course, six starting provinces in Mission 6, which means by the time you get to the last um, mission and chapter, the maps are, you know, quite contested. And that, of course, resets with the next chapter um, for gameplay reasons, of course. That's it's a narrative. But what I mainly wanted to show you today is notice down here, um, there's no way to summon a wizard. How do we summon a wizard? Let's move around. There's a random chance every turn that a special item will appear in the map. And most of the time, it will be a, um... Ah, one's appeared in the province right next to us. Most of the time, this item will be an adventure or a treasure chest or some mercenaries to hire. Every now and again, it will be a golden sandal. So, if I move over to this province to claim it... A golden sandal has been discovered at Meseth. Your soldiers have come across a most rare prize indeed, the hallowed golden sandal, symbol of the great gladiators of days past. You now have one golden sandal. With these, you are granted the power to summon the help of a powerful wizard. They'll help you in exchange for these powerful sandals. I should say artifacts, actually, because that's one too many refer references to sandals, I think. So now you can call upon Bargul Yag in the Crusade, who is, of course, the um, wizard who will help you if you're good aligned. If you're neutral, you have a different wizard. If you're evil, you'll have a different wizard still. So notice up here, we now have one sandal, and we have the option to call wizard. That button appears. So let's do it. In this um, particular mission, calling Bargul results in this. Noble King Lionel, long have I watched the kingdom of Phaetor from afar. I shall help you in the upcoming crusade, for there are dark powers in the south that threaten all life on Brandor. He sounds a bit... Uh, Sort of David Attenborough, really. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the voice I should go with him for, but thankfully, nothing is actually really uh, narrated in the game other than, of course, the main narrator. So that's Bargul Yag, Enigmatic Sorcerer of Legend. And in future missions, if you collect golden sandals, Bargul will aid you. 
So this mission is now complete. When you get golden sandals in future missions, um, buttons will appear here and here, um, giving you options like um, double your gold or um, aid me in battle or, you know, um, give me extra provinces, extra, you know, boost the morale of my troops. And they'll all cost different um, amounts of sandals. So it's a nice little thing that I, you know, really wanted to put in the game. And it's something that um, I remember from Defender of the Crown, um, you know, which is, of course, a sort of a, uh, a bit of a spiritual um, precursor to the whole Swords and Sandals Crusader thing. And in that you could summon Robin Hood to help you. So I thank you and you have summoned Bargle and you win the mission. mission has been completed. All right, happy days. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the video um, in a moment and um, we're going to show you what happens when uh, you actually request a sorcerer's aid in battle. So I'm going to uh, cut to some footage of um, one of the sorcerers aiding you in a big battle against a um, another crusader. So let's jump over to that now as we listen to this uh, most triumphant music. Oh, I love it. Thank you, Electro, um, Alex Desani, who's uh, an amazing composer who's helped me out with the game. And we'll be doing the soundtrack for um, Sword of Stanley 6, of course. All right, let's jump over to the other video. So here we are in Chapter 1, Mission 4, The Rampaging Hordes. And you can see now we have Willard Sound as part of our um, you know, vassals of provinces, our vassal provinces, one, two, three, four. Um, Bors has four provinces as well, as I was telling you. I've actually, um, you know, put a little debug cheat in to um, give me nine sandals as well, so we can summon um, aid from Bargle as well. So here's the things that Bargle can do for you. Grant me gold, troops. So if you say gold, you can double your gold for three sandals. You know, that will be pretty handy. Troops, 25 troops for two sandals, pretty good. Uh, sandals are rare, but you know, you can find them. Uh, you can find you can find your new lands. You can do, in this case, Gallow Stones and Bog Stench, which are two unclaimed lands. Aid me in battle costs you three golden sandals, but it's quite powerful. That is what I wish. Look for me on the field at the next big battle. So he disappears. We get some troops. Oh, we've already got some troops from the last mission. Let's upgrade them. We'll head over to meet um, Boars in battle. Oh yeah, there's a treasure chest there, which you know we can actually be using because our treasure chest is uh, treasury is low. So we'll wait for him. All right, he's going to attack us now. Um, I don't remember if I put this in the last video or not, but you also have um, power levels now, so you can see how powerful his army is versus how powerful your army is. Uh, you know, we hold the balance in this one. Let's take the field. And what you're going to see here is we have Bargle on side now. Bargle appears up there in the corner. And you can use his powers um, instead of yours. And Bargle, of course, has access to you know every spell except Raise Dead. Um, because that is an Antares only power. And Antares can't cast leadership because, you know, he doesn't really inspire troops. Uh, because they're undead basically um, but also he can cast spells at a uh, higher um, level than most um, actually than all the leaders so let's do an airstrike actually no let's do uh, call lightning or cause fear let's cause fear so you can see a whole chunk of their army just ran away of course Boars had some of his own spells he, uh, he did it back to us. I think he did his war drums, um, which is a boar's specialty. Um, and of course, our morale is actually pretty low because uh, we weren't, um, we didn't have a good morale going in. Notice also now that morale is you know pretty much broken, meaning more troops will flee. You'll notice that we can't do furious attacks anymore because the army's morale is too low. That's a new change. Uh, let's do a tactical attack. So we can use Bargle to, you know, increase our leadership if we wish. Yeah, let's do that. See if we can um, get some of that morale back up. Now notice morale's up to great as well. So no one's going to flee anymore. 
Notice how these troops are a little bit um, staggered as well. When they go into battle, um, the lower their morale is, the more likely they are to look a little bit, um, you know, staggered rather than in straight lines. One new thing in uh, the update this week is I've also added a little perspective shift. So notice the ones at the back look smaller than the ones at the front. And that's something that I remembered from Sword and Scandal's Crusader when I played it last week that, uh, you know, it adds to the, um, the nice sort of depth of field in the game. You can turn that on or off in the options if you wish. Let's uh, send in the light troops. Do uh, psych up. We've used all of Bargo's powers now, so we can just basically just stick around for moral support, but just the two spells from Bargo. Should be able to finish him off here. Now you might have noticed just then the arrows looked white, and that's because we've upgraded our archery power. You have won the thanks to Bargo. So the arrows do more damage. And the battle is won. And of course. Victory is ours, and we've successfully completed the mission. The mission has been completed. All right. And on that triumphant note, we will, um, you know, conclude this video. As I said, um, the game comes out on October 9. I'd really appreciate it if you, um, you know, can wishlist it on Steam. I'll leave a link below. Um, it's great to see wishlist coming through every day. I really um, appreciate your support and all the great comments you're leaving me about the game. And people seem excited about it, and that's nice. Um, I really wanted this to be, um, you know, the version of Crusader I always hoped I could make if I'd had the skills, you know what I mean? And I'm thinking, you know, it, I'm proud of it, and I'm looking forward to you playing it as well. Uh, as always, you know, you know the drill. If you enjoy the content here, you know, like and subscribe and all that. Or don't, just keep watching. I appreciate the comments and I'll try to get back to you um, as much as I can. And um, the next video is going to be the last one before launch. And that will probably be uh, displaying, actually, no, uh, revealing the game trailer, the official game trailer, which I'm going to put together on Monday. All right, my friends, uh, thanks for your company today, and I'll uh, look forward to seeing you next week. Bye for now.